the Ogun State Police Command has warned those agitating for Yoruba nation not to go ahead with a mass rally said to have been scheduled for May 1st in Abe Okuta. The command said available intelligence shows that the organizers of these rallies are being sponsored by certain individuals outside the state and country to destabilize Ogun State. In a statement by the police spokesman in Ogun, Abimbola Uyeyemi on Thursday, the police revealed that it was disturbed about the activities of the Odudua nation agitators tagging series of public rallies in different parts of Ogun, thereby causing serious panic in the minds of the people and are yet not relenting. While conceding that citizens have constitutional rights to freedom of association and expression, the police warned that these rights should not be exercised in the detriment of other citizens. Going down memory lane, Ojeyemi recalled that the group had on 21 March 2021 tagged a public rally at Isara Remo for the actualization of Odudua Republic, where they blocked highway and made free flow of traffic very difficult for other road users. The same group tagged another rally in Shagamu on the 16th April 2021, where they made an attempt to attack Shagamu police station for no reason. Yet on 25th of April 2021, they held another rally at Ajuwon, where in the cause of stopping them from disturbing inciting letters, policemen and other security agents were judged at the pelt with missiles. At the group lane of Mega Rally in Abe Okuta, Oyeyemi pardon, warned that the general public that it could be hijacked by the hoodlums. We have exhibited restraint and absolute calm even in the face of extreme provocation by the organizer of the rallies and their cohorts. However, it is important to note that the police will not perpetually stand by the watch public conduct and some citizens hold order to ransom and threaten the corporate existence of the country. The command is especially worried if care is not taken, the pain and agonies that similar agitators and rallies are pre presently causing in some parts of the country may be repeated in our very peaceful Ogun state. The command therefore wishes to appeal to the leaders of this group to shelve the idea of tagging another public rally in any part of the state for now, as such is capable of undermining the relative peace being enjoyed in the entire state. Consequently, the rally slated for Abe Okuta on 1st May 2021 is viewed by the command as one too many in the state and therefore not approved. Parents and guidance are hereby advised to warn their children and wards not to be involved in any such gathering that may expose them to violence and consequently bring them on a collision course with the security agencies. The understanding and cooperation of all the good people of Ogun State, including the organizers of the rallies, is hereby solicited by the command and will be highly appreciated. Please. We can now see concerning the Odudua Republic Police Ban Yoruba Nation Rally in Ogun State because they said it would disturb the peaceful Ogun state. If you could recall, just as Oyeyemi has said, that this group had on 21st of March 2021 tagged a public rally at Sara Remo for the actualization of Odudua Republic, where they block highways 
and make uh, free flow of traffic very difficult for other road users. This same group tagged another rally on the 16th of April. That same group also tagged another rally on the 25th of April. Now they are planning on tagging another rally on 1st May. These rallies are too much and the state police are, you know, complaining about this and they are banning the one they have scheduled for May 1st, 2021 in Ogun State. Well, haven't heard this, let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about what we have just heard. Naipoli said, but they allow rallies in support of Pantami in the north. These people are hypocrites. Why are they not allowing the Yoruba nation to do their rally in Ogun State peacefully? That is a comment from Naipoli who is saying that these people are hypocrites during the time people want to rally to support Pantami, they were not disturbed, there were no any form of ban against them. So why is it that when it comes to Yoruba nation, there is ban? That is what Napoli is saying. Well, that is one point of view and reaction to what has been heard. Well, let's move further and see what other people have to say about this. Guest said, why did the police allow rallies in support of Pantami? Why did the police intelligence not uncover all the atrocities committed by Fulani headers against the indigenous community all over the country? This goes to show that instead of the Nigerian police force, what currently operates in Nigeria is Fulani police force against the indigenous peoples of Nigeria. That was a comment from guest who is saying why did the police allow rallies in support of Pantami? People rally in support of Pantami and they were not disturbed, there were no any form of ban against them. Why is it that in the turn of the urban nation there is ban? That is what guest is saying and he stressed more to say that why did the police intelligence not cover all the atrocities committed by Fulani headers against the indigenous community all over the country. This shows that instead of having Nigerian police force, what currently operates in Nigeria now is the Fulani police force against the indigenous people of Nigeria. What is your say to this? What is your contribution? What is your reaction to what has been heard? We would like to see your comment and reaction to this. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not and I'll see you on the other news. Bye for now.